adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. We ought to do this more often, Slate. You like window shopping, huh? Well, it's not only that. It's the walking on a bright, sunshiny day, smiling at people, having them smile at you. Things like that. I hate it. Senor, go ahead. Take a ten dollar bill. Take two. Huh? I'll take one. Hey, what is this? What's the idea of standing on a street corner and giving away money, Carlo? Huh? You know my name? Let me take a close look at you. Ah, Senor Shannon. Here, take some ten dollar bills, Senor Shannon. Is it all right if I stand in line again? Cut it out, sailor. I know this guy, old Carlo. He's got a fishing boat down at the No, no more. For 30 years, but now it's $50,000. That's special do it to you every time. Both sold for cash money. Business sold for cash money. Plus, A, from selling the friendly fish is $50,000. Have hey. But why should I not give away money, senor? Well, you tell me. Soon, so what good is the money? Oh, you've got a long time of living, Carlo. No, no, my brother will kill me. You will see. Take some money. Slate, let's take him home. Sure. Come on, Carlo. No one's going to kill you. Oh, my brother. No, don't worry about it. I'll see that nothing happens to you. A promise? Sure. Sure is a promise. Come on. We'll take you home. Set before me a banquet, senorita. Everything on the menu. I am rich, and I am going to die soon. Therefore, I wish to eat good before I die. For you have many things. I will bring you the blue plate, huh? Bring many, many blue plates for everybody in the restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah, and listen, everyone. The blue plates are on me. Sit down. Sit down, stupid. You bring shame. <laughs> I won. Brother of my blood. Brother who wishes to kill me. You are insane. You should be in a cage. Leave the viejo alone. He does not hurt to nobody. Good, senorita. He will not kill me here. He has not the courage for so many eyes at me. In a day you are changed, Carlo. You talk now with the mouth of a man who has no fear of death. Because I have a friend. A friend who will not permit you to commit death upon me. With $50,000, you have bought such a friend. Not bought. His friendship was given. Slate Shannon, take my hand. Promise. Shem? <laughs> I have heard the name. I have heard for money he will steal from a hungry dog. You lie. You are sick with evil, brother mine. He is my friend. For nothing, for nothing. He Shannon will... will not keep you from death, hermano Carlo. Brother Carlo. Nothing. No one will keep it from you. Because it is in my hand to offer it to you. At a place... At a moment of my choosing. Because I will give you none of my money? Because you are evil? I will take it from you, Carlo. All of it. Before you have given it away to street beggars. From your dead hands I will take it. Adios, hermano. Eat halfway. <laughs> Shannon's place welcomes you, senor. And I welcome Shannon's place. Uh, where is this Shannon of Shannon's place? Oh, you're bashful. You don't like to sign a register in front of a lady. Sure. Slate? Slate, come here. Well, what do you want, sailor? 
I'm busy. Oh. Shannon's place welcomes you, senor. The Hotel Nifty, rooms three. You are Shannon of this uh, Nifty Shannon's place? Real Nifty, huh? I have come here to ask you not to help my brother, Carl. Now, wait a minute. Who did you say you were? Juan Ruiz. Brother of the crazy one who gives away money on street corners. Brother of Carlo. Please, he will do no harm. Do not ask of the police to put him away in an asylum. As you want to kill him. I... For this delusion, I am sending him to a doctor. So he will be cured. So he will know that I have for him only the brother-to-brother love. The doctor will vouch this, what I tell you. The doctor for the head. The doctor, Tracy Jones. Tracy Jones. That's a nice, normal name for a psychiatrist. Was that you having a thought, Slate? Yeah, very funny. Slate Shannon speaking. He tried it again, senor. My brother tried to kill me. He did, Carlo? When? He is that he shot at me, but he missed. Well, that's fine. I'm glad he didn't hit you. You promised. You promised. Do something. I'll be right down, Carlo. That was your brother, senor Ruiz. Who? What did he want? Said you tried to shoot him. Just now. Well, it is ridiculous, senor. I am here in your very nifty hotel. What are you going to do about Carlos Slate? I don't know. Let's go see how he almost got killed. A gentle knock does it, Mac. You want to try again, Slate? Look, if you two got the time to play, you got nothing important to do here. Point yourself north, playmates. Who are you? Landlord. Croft, the landlord. What do you want? We want to see Carlo Ruiz. Oh, grabbers, huh? That's why you want to see Carlo. You're grabbers. Part-time panhandle. You're his watchdog, huh? I'll give you a reading, landlord. Carlo called me a little while ago, said his brother tried to kill him. His brother was standing under my nose when Carlo told me that. (laughs) He was, huh? That's where Brother Warren was. Well, what do you know about that? Now that we gave you the password, we can talk to Carlo. Hmm? Sure, but he ain't here. Go find a street corner with a crowd. They'll be kissing his hand and making the local sign behind his back. You mean no one tried to kill him? He was making it up? Who said anything like that? Someone tried to kill him, all right. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Right down the hall here. Here. Now, take a look. Whoever it was stood in the alley, shot through the window at him. You can see the bullet hole in the glass. Hey. What's this sticking out from under the bed? Carlos' suitcase, where he keeps all his dough. Now, don't put a finger to it. Don't even smell it. You won't mind a friendly look, huh, Croft? Sure you won't mind? Yeah. Trust you, don't he, landlord? I told you to... Easy, kid. You're among friends. Taylor, come here. What'd you find, Slate? Look. If someone shot at Carlo from the alley the way he said, the shattered glass would be inside the room, wouldn't it? Let me think about it a minute, sure huh? Sure it would. The glass is out there in the alley. That means no one shot at him from there. The shot came from inside. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, like I thought. Gun under the mattress. Hmm. Fired not too long ago. You're wonderful, Slate. You find guns, sniff them, and you're wonderful. Carlo states the whole thing just to convince us he's... Go find him, Sailor. Go find him before someone puts him away. And you're going to stay here for a friendly game of rummy with Croft, the land. I would if I didn't feel so sick, Sailor. A sick fellow like me needs a doctor. You go find Carlo while I go get my head examined. <laughs> The way you keep looking at me and adding me up, I wouldn't diagnose as neurotic. Not in the least. How would you diagnose it, Dr. Jones? Oh, part surprise because I'm a woman doctor. Part delight because I'm a woman. Mr. Shannon, when were you first aware that you were in need of a psychiatrist? Well, there was a time... uh, Well, then after that, years later, there was a time Carlo Ruiz tried to prove to me his brother was going to kill him. Oh, he told you that. But doesn't he tell everybody? Two weeks ago, his brother sent him to me. Because of that aberration. He's been coming to my office every day. I have a professional interest in Carlo. What's yours, Mr. Shannon? He's an old friend. I want to help him if I can. Mm-hmm. He does have a lot of money, doesn't he? And he gives it away. Have I have trouble with violent patients, doctor? 
I only ask because I can feel it coming on. You would be a provocative one. <laughs> Don't be angry. I find greed universal. I have it myself. And how about you, for instance? I could be greedy. <laughs> Shame on me. Uh, yes, you think you could hold the blush long enough to show me your records on Carlo? You'll have to listen to it. I record the things my clients tell me on tape. Like a radio program, you know? Well, I'm crazy for soap operas. Let's hear it, shall we? Now, normally they're confidential. However, with you being Carlo's friend and wanting to help him... Let's see. Oh, here it is. Carlo Ruiz, case history. Just play it on that machine in back of you, Mr. Shannon. Carlo will enchant you. Hey, he always has. Why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me, one? My brother, why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me, one? You can turn it off now. That's all he says in his dreams, over and over and over. I'll cure him of it. Another week with me, and he'll be cured of everything. Sure he will. Cured of hate, cured of 50 grand. You're a doc after a man's own heart, aren't you, doc? Ten dollar bill. See, see, little boy, you may have one too for your mama and your papa. Take it. And you, senorita. I've been looking for you, Carla. Take money. Carla, listen to me. I have not much time, senorita. I must take. Come on, let's get out of here. Carlo, nothing's going to happen. Mm. No one's trying to kill you. I have said it. My brother, the evil brother of mine. I was in my room and he shot at me. No, no, he didn't. He saw, he shot. <laughs> senor, here, take money. It is for you. And you, senor. <laughs> take me. Carlo, what's the matter with you? What is it? The pain, senorita. In the back. The pain. Oh. A knife. Somebody, somebody help. Did I not say it? Did, did I not say he would kill me, my brother? He kill me. Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. A fisherman stood on Havana Street, hand out money, his savings deeply. Lord, a ten dollar bill, say, brother, we'll keep. Mr. Slade, he go to Lady Doctor, who say, fisherman sick, I make him sick no more. But Lady Doctor, she get no chance to heal, because fisherman die from blade of steel. Slate. Now, what do you want? Stop looking like that. You don't like how I look? Tear yourself away from me. Run, don't walk. You couldn't have stopped Carlos dying. Why whip yourself with it? Lady Sailor speaks true, Mr. Slate. Death comes to a man in many ways, as he has wished it, as he has dreamed it, as he has sweated in terror over it, as he... That more of your Haitian hillbilly philosophy, King? It is only that of a man who... A man who what? A man who gave away his hard-earned dough, wanted to make people happy, who asked me to save him from dying. I know how you feel, Slate. What do you think it did to me when Carlo... You were right there, standing next to him. You sure you didn't see who gave it to him? He turned away from me, Faith. It wasn't his brother? It wasn't his brother. You told the cops? You told LaSalle? I told the cops. I told LaSalle. Let's go talk with him some more, sailor. Have you left out something I can fill in? glad you have waited at least this long to come here, Senor Kennedy. I said I handled it, didn't I? See, si. 
Already the papers have been screaming of my brother's death. Sad. Sad. What's the sad, sad business? You hire me to stick a knife in your brother. Fresh off the boat of mine when you come dancing up to me. Now it's sad, sad. Character talk. Now, of course, uh, you wish payment. Uh-huh. Here, this envelope. Make it two more envelopes, just like it. Por favor? On account of I've been roaming the barrio. Word come up that little brother of yours left the satchel of dough. So it ups the payment. Did you not get the suitcase what was under his bed? Uh-uh. Crawled through the window like you said. No suitcase. You got it, huh? The suitcase. Hey, money. what have you done with it? Again, the character talk, huh? Okay, character. You... <laughs> See, a character. Because I feel this way, senor dead man. Your dying means nothing. Nor that of my brother. Of the money? <laughs> Sleep peacefully, senor. I will get it. So you told the police all you knew. What did it get you, say? Well, you saw what it got me. A hearty handshake, a slap on the back for citizenship, two passes to the policeman's ball, and an official clucking of the tongue because I wasn't included in Carlo's will. You're lucky. All I got was a fanfare from a rookie's police whistle when I turned my back. <laughs> Go back and get his name, sailor. Who knows? You might overpark in a ten-minute zone someday. Go on. You don't want me to do that, Slay. When he blew his whistle, he trilled. And you know what that means. I'll go anywhere you like. Just leave me alone. That's how you want it? That's how I want it. I need time to think. I think good when I walk by myself. You walk close to me and things get mixed up. Wait till you see how mixed up it gets without me. Bye, sucker. I'm delighted you got rid of him, Mr. Shannon. Huh? I thought I was delighted you got rid of your aunt. It'll give us more time together. <laughs> she's, she's not my aunt, Doctor. She's... Isn't she, though? But you prefer to travel light, is that it? Sometimes. A man never knows when he'll need his hands free to... Of course he doesn't. But first he must bring his doctor a gift. In a suitcase. In Carlo's suitcase. And leave off the pink ribbon. Oh. Carlo's money belongs to you? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Doctor? He promised it to me. You must give it to me, and I'll thank you, in a general way. Golly day, no doctor ever talked to me like that before. No doctor... Hey. What's the matter? That guy walking down the street, all dressed up in fancy clothes, new clothes. Well, what about him? He interests me. When I saw him before, he was a dream in a dirty T-shirt. So long, Doc. Happy head, son. Foolish man. So close to death, and you think you can run away from it. Foolish man. <laughs> Can I help you? Where is Senor Shannon? On the sidewalks of Havana. At the present moment, he is not with us. He is... I must see him. I must see him. Find him for me. Quickly. Immediately. Bring him to me. Does Senor Ruiz want something, King? He wants me to produce Mr. Slate. Do you have the suitcase? Did he bring it here? What suitcase is he talking about, Lady Sailor? It's mine. I'm his only living relative. The money belongs to me. If you say so. And you have it. You or your Mr. Shannon. I want it. You have stolen it. It belongs to me. All that money. All your brother's money. Gone, huh? Would a suitable reward for its return interest you, senorita? Sure. How much? Uh, I know women such as you, senorita. Greedy. But for this money... My poor brother is dead. And of you, too. Are you threatening us, Ruiz? Not a threat, senorita. Merely a morsel for your consideration. Death is for so long a time, senorita. <laughs> Now, get up, Croft. Your new suit will get dirty. How come a poor landlord like you blossoms forth with new clothes right after his prize tenant gets murdered? Look, Carlo, give me a hundred bucks before he got killed. Ten Chris saw bucks. Makes a hundred. 
So I bought clothes. Gave it to you, huh? Why did you slip that knife into him and suddenly get wealthy with $50,000? You know something? None of that what you said I could do. It's a weakness with me how I'm in love with good people like Carlo. All right. Carlo, have any callers? Sure. You and that dame. Who else? His brother. His brother? His doctor. His what? His doctor. A perfumed girl doctor. Called on him, huh? Like how often? Like practically every day. A beautiful lady doctor. It was a thing a man could look forward to. Where you going? I ain't finished with my confession yet. <laughs> Shannon, what a delightful surprise. I... No, it isn't either. I see you brought your aunt. Slate, this is a doctor? It is. Your slip showing doctor. Well, let's all go inside and join the National Geographic, shall we? You won't mind that I'm a bit disheveled, will you? My last patient thought he was a housefly. Tried to light on the chandelier. Hand me that magazine, Slate. Thanks. You just lost your patient, doctor. That's it, girls. Have fun, but don't fight. I'm going to look around. Don't go in there. You leave him alone. He can go any place he wants. Get out of my way. I told you, you can't go in there. Pretty living room. Planning a trip, Doctor? No. That's good. Because this suitcase, it's kind of shabby for a career girl like you. Leave it alone. And the initials, C.R., what do they stand for? Tracy Jones in code? Hmm. All this money. Hey, sailor. Breathing down your neck, Neff. Carlo's money. He could have made so many friends with it. He gave it to me. Because I was going to cure him. I cure it with murder now? That must be a patient, Shannon. May I answer it? Sure. We'll wait in your office. Come on, sailor. Get rid of him, Tracy. We've got lots to talk about. I will. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry about anything. Let us go inside. I can't very well argue with a gun, can I? What do you want, Ruiz? My brother's money. I don't have it. No one has it. Is that not strange? Give it to me or you die as Carl died. It's in there in my office. Good. Very good. Why do you want to kill me, one? My brother, why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill Carl! me? Carl! Why do you want He's to kill me? He's not dead. But I have him killed. Why do you want to kill him? I have him killed. killed. I'll kill him again. Why kill him. Why, Taylor? Ah! I'll kill him. Yeah! Not anymore. What's this? Not anymore. It was a trick. A trick. Yeah, it sure was. Nice going, Slate. How do you like my nephew, Doc? Now listen to me. That money, I'll explain how I got it. I went back and I took it and I was going to turn it in. The cops will listen. Get your smelling sauce, Doctor. You're going to need them. Have a good time, Slate? Well, if you've been to a policeman's ball like we have, you've been to a policeman's ball like we have. More than that. Well, have you ever danced with a policewoman, sailor? You ought to be proud, Slate. That was Senora Sergeant Babe Alvarez you danced with. She's got six notches in her gun. Seven. She had a hard day today before the ball. Aren't you proud of me, too? Well, just because they made you honorary captain of Precinct 12? Yes. And you're walking on my beat now. Pull over to the curb. That's right. Now come here. How'd you like that ticket? Hmm. Two in one night. My, my. Get out the book, officer. There's going to be a crime wave tonight. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rowe. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Ventures.